I'm starting to be really concerned about the fact that we didn't start looking for them this early because now it almost feels like all of the best guys are gone. Last four, five, six potentially days have been the same. Break the window is so easy. You don't have to break it. I think you can just take it out. Oh my god, morning was a total roller coaster today. It was supposed to be a happy day today. It was supposed to be a contract exchange day. What that means is when contracts are exchanged, there is a period of around five days before the completion of the sale, and we were on track to exchange today. Yesterday we started working on this renovations timescale sheet to start calling contractors and we've done a lot of work yesterday um, thinking that everything's gonna go to plan and we're gonna move into the house or we're gonna get the keys at the end of this month when our mortgage offer expires. So get an email early in the morning saying hey so the seller actually fucked up they didn't say that but this is exactly what happened they were supposed to get this planning permission for the extension they built but they didn't from the developers but they didn't get that on time they didn't get that and a workaround for them to sell the house or for us to to get the house would be to get an indemnity policy which would protect us if in the future the developers would go after us saying hey you just built something here and it's not according to you didn't get the permission anyway indemnity policy would have protected us and it's like a very easy safe way to to deal with that very cheap as well 40 pounds and the seller's fucked up well, in this case, I suppose their solicitors fucked up. They didn't inform the sellers of what they can or could not do, or they didn't advise them appropriately. And the sellers got in touch with the developers about it. And when they do get in touch with them directly about it, raising this thing, that means that indemnity policy is no longer valid. But anyway, everything got complicated last minute to get the retrospective consent for the development of that additional room they said would take like a long time and our offer mortgage offer may expire by that time so in the morning i was like i give up that's it we're just not gonna get a house nothing is gonna happen the way we planned everything's just going downhill from now and i was just so discouraged and annoyed at everything and house buying process just took way longer than expected it was supposed to be a couple of months and turned into a whole six months time frame and it's just it was just too much the cherry on the top was them saying today on the day when the contacts were supposed to be exchanged that they don't have that freaking thing it just blew everything up in my head and i'm just i was so mad and so frustrated and we started making plans on trying to extend our mortgage proposal with the bank but that would be a little complicated because i was unemployed for two months and i just got a new job it's just unnecessary stress when it could have been dealt with you know without it and i was very frustrated but now it seems they figured it out and it looks like we may exchange today i really don't want to get my hopes up i really don't want to get my hopes up i'm i'm just hoping it happens there's a lot of things that we need doing and i really like i'm starting a new job in in about a week and a half and everything is coinciding and it's just you know i just want to be there already i want to start the innovation so i want to start doing things there's a lot of uncertainties i'm so sick of them i'm so sick of this uncertainty it's about the job about the house about everything coupled with the fact that our cat dies last week a few days back it's just everything seems like oh my god i'm on fire today with all of the admin stuff for everything so i need to find contractors to do the retiling and bathroom work deal with the floors we have electricians so but i still need to get in touch with him to ensure that he's available and i need to get in touch with this underfloor heating builder to see when he can come over to the house and provide us with the final quote and all of that stuff so we're planning to install a uh, new heat underfloor heating in our house and we were giving you details <music> Okay, I was halfway through actually my onboarding, but then there was so many docs to read through. I was like, okay, I filled out the core items. I can just move on to the other things like contractor search and stuff whilst we're still within the working hours. And I was just speaking to this guy who would be installing the underfloor heating. I need to send him the floor plans and everything, the pictures of what 
kind of flow we have to get rid of and this should be exciting but it's somewhat a little stressful but i'm thinking i'm just such an anxious person everything almost feels like stressful to me but today is an especially stressful day because everything that happened in the morning so i'm gonna try and give myself some slack on that the contract exchange did happen yesterday it was supposed to happen and it didn't because our lawyers added a clause about the electrical work that the sellers need to complete before the completion of the process anyway addition of that clause slowed things down a little because now everything is sat with the seller solicitors for them to review once that's done things should move forward it will most probably happen today because everyone is relying on this completion date to be next week i'm not sure if i told you we already organized internet for it i've just got a message back from the electrical guy who will be installing recess lighting everywhere and he will be coming in the house the day after the keys are given to us so that's exciting we're trying to organize all of the builders to come in literally almost as soon as possible because we need to do a lot of renovations work before we move in but all of this is very exciting and i realized recently that you know i've been stressing out about this job search for so long and it's been quite dramatic for me and when it finally happened when i got the job the job that i really wanted i think it almost took it for granted i didn't take time to celebrate it and i feel like it's like what the hell am i doing there was so much stress and anxiety associated with that very dramatic period of my life and when i got it i just moved on to the next thing to obsess over and so it just makes very little sense to me so i'm thinking of maybe going to a pizza place you know to just celebrate that one thing and remember mia her absence has felt so strongly in the house there's certain things that she used to do like meowing randomly she had the squeaky purr she was always around her she was like a little puppy and she would just be really annoying a lot of the time she would jump on my table sleep all over the keyboard she needed to be there she was there she had the most beautiful song well purr we called it the song of Lameria we miss her so much so 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 much and both Kat and Arpine starting to feel her absence as well it's very sad we're still waiting to hear from the post-mortem guys on the causes of her sudden death it will take a week or so to come back to us but we, we really really miss her welcome to yet another rant from me i really do use this vlog to just complain about things and i i don't think i show enough of the good things and whatnot but it just you know happens that i feel so much better after venting and i'm, I'm really hoping that the audience that you have enjoys and shares and can see themselves in in me it's not so lonely <laughs> anyway what am i doing today let me show you by the way we've created there's a lot of tabs here this is what amon worked on for the underfloor heating you can see various items like underlay flooring installation quotes and uh, i don't know a, a lot of stuff here and then he worked on uh, the lighting stuff where to place the lighting and which type of lighting to place how many lights we'll need to just have an overall estimate then we have retiling stuff so for every single bathroom and kitchen by the way for kitchen i am strongly reconsidering tiles right now i really want to go with the vinyl flooring because it just seems so off we do have a really nice tile that we chose for it but i don't know man I, it almost feels like i just really want to have usual floors in the, in, in the kitchen it it's becoming a thing and it just feels so much more homey and cozy that way anyway this tab is for that calculating measuring based on the measurements we found online of the room size and everything but we just want to ensure that we have a plan of what to do and okay so what i'm doing right now is i'm creating a schedule for when stuff needs to be completed what needs to co be completed first which contractor to we're using and when they can come over to give us a quote as that works and trying to do all of that and as i just learned the best vendors are booked two three months ahead of time and i'm like oh my god we need this work to be completed 
in two weeks time earlier than that potentially and all of the bad guys are booked i just heard back from someone i wonder who is this i have so many numbers that i don't even know i'm starting to be really concerned about the fact that we didn't start looking for vendors earlier because now it almost feels like all of the best guys are gone i need to i need to give these guys a call back on a totally unrelated note i don't know if you guys are experiencing the same thing but both amon and i have awful thing i don't know what to call it from the fitbit strap see the way you put it on is um like that this part of the watch just messes with your hand a lot a lot it hurts it proper burns it i'm on stock wearing his fitbit for that reason so i got new straps oh they're kind of cool I, re I really like them this should definitely help it's not gonna have anything that will rub against the hand all right here we have a watch i also have the pink and green but i think i'm gonna go with my favorite black this is so much better already <laughs> last four five six especially days have been the same pass chasing Everybody! Solicitor, our agent, the agent chases their solicitor, their agent, this, that, this, that, this, that, this, that. Now everything is not happening because our freaking mortgage broker is away until the 4th of April and our mortgage expires on the 31st of March. Guess what? We tried calling him, we sent a few high importance emails and he's not responding and everything is just hanging on that thing. Yesterday there was an electrical work thing that we added as a clause to the contract for them to complete but that complicated things and it just absolute mess. The freaking contractors as well I sent stuff to get quotes for two three days ago none of them responded. Like, what the hell? How can you not respond to an email for three days? <laughs> You're like, what? Yeah! When you are speaking to a contractor on the phone saying, hey, I'm gonna send you stuff, he's like, they're always so eager to, to respond because it's like a and lot of work. And you send an email and nothing happens. And nothing happens. And there's so many contractors out there, so many I can just go to and get a job like that. <laughs> Look. Look. Oh! <laughs> so as you may have guessed, contract exchange did not happen. It was supposed to happen two days ago. It's gonna happen today. Why didn't it happen yesterday? Because we kept talking to her here until like five o'clock and she didn't have time to do it. Did you hear that, darling? Um, can I please? Yeah, can I ask who's calling? Uh, it's Mary. Okay, one second, let me try to pick through. Thank you. Hello, Mary. So the exchange will most probably happen today, but to be no, frank with you, just I've been happen. saying it every day. I've been saying it every day. I've been getting my hopes up, and you know what happens when I get my hopes up? When I get my hopes up, they crash, crashing me under them, and I just turn into yeah. this. Okay, okay, I'm gonna go. It's really annoying. I look so bad without makeup, and obviously I woke up recently, so. Please don't drive me too much, but every day I tell myself it literally takes me two minutes to do my makeup. Two, three minutes. Once I've done it, I look so much better. When I don't do makeup and then I film videos, every time I see myself in the in the screen, I'm like, oh my god, I look like shit. I will most probably not use this footage just because I don't have makeup. And then when I go 
for a walk with our pain. I don't, you know, I'm like hoping that no one will see me because I have a makeup wall and I look like rubbish. Stuff like that. And to avoid all of it, I just need to force myself to do the makeup. It's just so fast. It is such a big deal. Why don't I do it? I don't know. I don't know why I don't do it. It's so fast. Anyway, I'm gonna do it now because it's 11 o'clock now. We're taking my room for a heart scan today at 12. We already gave him medication to like relax a little bit, not be too scared because he does get in unknown environments. I need to take our pin for a very, very quick walk right now because he needs to poo in the morning and a longer walk will happen afterwards and I don't know how long it will take to, to do the heart scan with Lyra. I know that he will get really frustrated because usually at this time, especially when the weather is good, we go to the dog park and he has a good time, but this will happen. Anyway, like I said earlier, these days are pretty much a lot of calls, a lot of reaching out to different contractors. Oh my god, yesterday. So there is a couple of sites online that ensure that the contractors are like good. They, they've been certified and everything. You can trust that they will do a good job and you'll get certificates and completion. There's a lot of ratings and stuff, of course. And yesterday I reached out to one of the highest rated people with 700 reviews. And everyone was saying, they're so good, trustworthy, fast. The quality is there, all of that. And I'm like, okay, let me reach out to them because we are planning. I need to do a lot of bathroom stuff. And I reach out to them and they're so freaking costly. They cost so much. I'm like, oh my god. I mean, I expected bathroom renovation to cost that, like a lot, but not that much, okay? Not that much. And that's without the product, without the actual vanity. Thing is, they are highly rated. So I'm like, should I go with that? Or should I try and find like a sole trader who charges a little less, but the quality is still there. And it's like, who do you trust? There's so many of them. I know that bathroom works take a long time. When you do towels, for example, you have to wait for things to dry until you can continue. So it's like an ongoing thing. It may take uh, three, four weeks to complete just one bathroom. I don't know, it depends on what you're doing, right? I'm thinking, I'm not too fast about bathrooms because so long as we have one functional bathroom, it's fine. We need that with that bathroom. The main thing for us to do is to do that before heating the floor and before moving because, you know, we will be able to furniture and leave there. So, bathroom renovation, I'm um, okay if it takes long. Um, like, I really don't mind. I honestly, I just want to be in that house. It's going to be so nice, especially in the summer, it's gonna be great. Once we're there, we'll be more confident with our choices of furniture. Now all we have is a couple of pictures and measurements that are not quite correct. So every single decision that we make in terms of the furniture choices, we're unsure whether it will fit size-wise or style-wise. I mean, we have decided we are quite confident in the choices of furniture we go with, tiles and everything. But it's always best to just go there, triple check. Delivery may take time. Exchange of those titles takes time and everything is connected to each other. There's a lot of that. Okay, <sighs> makeup is done. Now I can just brush my hair a little and we can go take our bin. Now every time we leave the house, we're very paranoid about the fact that we may have forgotten the key. So let me check. We ask each other, do you have the key? Do you have the key? Do you have the key? Every five minutes, do you have the key? Huh? Do you have the key? No. Because I have a key. Anyway, we're on our way. We're... You have the key, you promise, right? <laughs> yeah. The back door is locked. Oh my god. Why should we do it again today? Never again. Literally, next time I'm just gonna break the front door from glass. Break the window, it's so easy. You don't have to break it, I think you can just take it out. If you break the little, side. yeah, if you take the little like wooden part, you can just take it out. Which wooden part? The bolt that holds it. You know, there's a wooden part that goes around. Yeah, how do you take that off from the outside? I'll show you. Taking Lyra for a heart check, heart scan. Ultrasound. Ultrasound. It's a boy. <laughs> oh, he's got a pregnant one. Lyra pregnant. Gosh, I had a hamster for uh, three years and I thought that it was a girl and then. It was a girl, right? I saw, I saw his penis. Uh, she like, was trans. I saw his, like for the first time ever, at, like very close to the end of his life. And he was like, oh my God, it was a boy. You can never tell. Ah, we called her her the whole Yeah. Time. So stay. Stay here. Stay her. Meow. We, it was very, should be very easy to record his one, right? He does it all the time. <laughs> no recording or squeaky purr. 
He's getting bad agitated now, we should have. Yeah, it's new environment, that's for the pack. Oh, good job, Provost the cat. He seems less scared today. More explorative. Yeah, before he'd be scared, but now he's so calm, he just wants to explore. Oh, what's up? <laughs> it's so green. Green glad. 